Hey, good morning. Jesus is Lord. The Word works raining. I call that a frog stomping rain. I had somebody write me a little note one day, what's a frog stomping rain? A frog stomping rain is when it's raining so hard that an old frog sitting there going, hmm, you know, blinking them eyes just to try to keep his eyes dry. You know, big old bullfrog. Well, y'all know the southern boy, you may not understand it. Well, why am I doing that today? Because the weatherman has been saying since Monday, every day I'll, I check the weather like I check the news, it's been saying that it was going to rain Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. And it hadn't rained until today. It's Thursday. Now, you'll be getting this tomorrow, which is Friday. But I wasn't shocked when I heard the thunder and I saw the rain. Let me turn around this way a little bit. And it's just a pouring down rain. But the reason I wasn't shocked is because the weatherman said it was going to. So I didn't go and go, Pat, it's raining. Oh, dear God, it's raining. I've never seen anything like that. It's raining. No, I knew it was going to because they said it was going to. Ooh, come on, I'm going to preach. Jesus said, what things wherever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So you ought not get excited when it shows up because he said it. That's the reason that we don't cast away our confidence because we know that we have what we desired of him because we believed it. So we don't just throw it away and give up and say, well, you know, it didn't work in two days and so I'm not going to believe this anymore. Some days, some things you believe God for for a little longer. This is what the Bible says in Ephesians 5, 16, I think somewhere right along there. It says, having done all, stand, fight the good fight of faith. <clears throat> we had a Christian school some years ago at the church, a small school. But we had a football team and a basketball team, but not a lot of players. And I taught our kids, I said, look, you're going to, we only had like maybe eight guys on the basketball team, five on the court. So they played all the time. Same thing with our football team. We only had just the same bunch that played defense, played the offense. So I said, you're going to have to get way ahead so that when you get tired and the referees try to take it from you, that you don't give up and quit. And you're going to have to, once you get 10 points ahead in basketball or 20 points ahead in basketball or two touchdowns ahead in football, you don't relax because you're tired and, and let go because you got to play the whole game. The game is not over until the whistle blows or until, you know, the ref says that's it. Hey, we don't play nine inning ball games. This is not over until I say it's over. I got to tell you this. I know I've said it in the past, but when I was a kid, I lived at the third house from the end of the dirt road. I was a third house from the end. Just a bunch of kids lived down there, you know, with their parents. We'd get out and play what they call sandlot baseball, but we played cow pasture baseball uh, up in a little cow pasture. We'd get out all two or three times a week. But listen, it was my ball. I was the only person in the neighborhood that had a ball. Y'all might remember it, the old baseball that was wore out and it had black tape all over it. But I had a ball, black taped up ball, only one. And I had a bat, the only bat in the neighborhood. I was not a very good player. In fact, I was usually the last one that was chosen on a team. But watch, it was my bat, and it was my ball, and therefore when I came up to bat, they better let me on or I'd take my bat and ball and go home. Saints, it's my bat and it's my ball, and my father God is the umpire, and so I win. So don't quit. Don't give up. Just keep playing, and you tell us, my bat, bless God, it's my ball, God's the umpire, and I win this thing. And if you don't give up, God won't give up. Jesus won't quit. If you don't quit and want things wherever you desire, you'll have. And just like it went to raining and now the rain's letting up, you know the sun's going to come back out. It'll rain again because I say it will. Well, I say blessings are raining on me and you in the name of Jesus. So have a great day. And remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God. Hey, the word works.